I woke up. And when I woke up, I found myself swimming in the ocean and exploring shells in the sand. In the ocean, I noticed lots of different kinds of fish. And as I watched the fish closely, I noticed many of the fish were eating things that appeared to be growing on the rocks. And as I looked closely, I noticed there were lots of plants growing on the rocks. In fact, there were some fish who appeared to be actually guarding the rocks, so they were the only ones who could eat the plants. Not only were there plants, there also were some animals that had spines and other animals that seemed like blue tubes. These sea slugs looked like little snails, but they had no shells. And that made me start to wonder about some of the animals that do have shells. Some animals, like sea stars and brittle stars, have shells on the inside of their body, with skins or spines on the outside. If the skin and spines are on the outside, and the shell is on the inside, scientists usually call these animals echinoderms. Pause and say echinoderm. Brittle stars are echinoderms. Sea stars are echinoderms. There's a little baby on top of the mommy, I guess. Whether they are red, black, or white, all sea urchins with those spines are echinoderms. This animal is called a sand dollar, and it is also an echinoderm with its skin on the outside of its shell. This is what it looks like on the outside with its skin and funny legs to help it move. And this is what it looks like when only its shell has been left behind. Echinoderms are animals with shells on the inside and softer bodies or spiky bodies on the outside. Other animals have shells on the outside and soft body parts on the inside. Bivalves have two shells stuck together. Some of the shells looked like they were two shells attached to each other. I think the animal used to live inside of them. I remember seeing something very similar when I was swimming under the water. And I wondered, could the animal talk when the shell opened and closed. So I tried to make it talk, and then all of a sudden, something really strange started to happen. Hello, my name is Simmy the Scallop, and I am a bivalve. A bivalve is an animal with two shells that are attached together, just like mine. Me and all my scallop friends and other bivalves all have two shells that attach together. Some other kinds of bivalves include clams. A soft-shelled clam is also a bivalve. These animals here are called mussels. A razor clam is another kind of bivalve. And an angel wing clam is also a bivalve. So my friends, there are many kinds of bivalves. All you have to do to remember is that all bivalves have two shells. When you find a bivalve at the beach, 
you usually just find one of our shells, but all bivalves have two shells when they're alive. Bivalves are animals that have two shells attached together. But sometimes on the beach, we only find one of those shells. So after learning that bivalves have two shells, I was curious, what other kinds of living things might I find in the ocean or the rocks near the ocean? Gastropods, animals that have stomach feet and live inside their shell. The next kind of animal that I saw was a snail. A snail is another animal that has a shell and it uses its stomach and its foot to move around and eat. Gastropod means stomach foot, which means it actually eats as it walks along the ground. Nudibranchs are animals that are quite camouflaged and are gastropods that don't have shells. And these are gastropods that do have shells. The shells protect the soft inside body. Another kind of animal that lives in a shell are called Arthropods! Like bivalves and gastropods, arthropods have their shells on the outside of their body. Their shells are different than the other animals because their shells bend. Arthropods have joints, so their arms and legs can bend, just like our arms and legs can bend. Because they can bend their legs, arthropods are very good at moving. They can even jump from rock to rock when the water gets too high. So, if you see an animal with a bendy outer shell, it's probably an arthropod. kind of shell we might find at the beach is called coral. When it's alive, coral can actually look like a rock or a plant. But when it dies, it looks much more like a white rock or a funny shaped shell. Here we have some sea urchins, which are echinoderms, living on a coral. The sea urchins are the black ones, the coral are the lighter colors. Corals look like plants when they're alive, and what's left behind are white shells. So my friends, in this lesson, we saw some bivalves, which are animals with two shells, Gastropods, animals that have a stomach foot and live in their shell. We saw echinoderms, where the shell is inside the body. And we might even find some arthropods, animals that have shells outside their body and the shells have joints so they can have arms and legs just like you and me. And last but not least are coral. Coral look a lot like plants when they're alive, but when they die, all their plant material goes away 
and what's left behind is something that looks like a rock or very hard shell. And now that we know the different kinds of shells, let's go exploring some of the different kinds of shells.